Catholic Morning Prayer for September 13, 2024 Feast of the Triumph of the Holy Cross Morning Offering In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, I offer you this day all my thoughts, words, and actions. May everything I do be for your glory and the salvation of souls. I unite this offering with the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross, which we honor today in the Feast of the Triumph of the Holy Cross. I ask for the grace to carry my own crosses with love and patience, trusting in your mercy. Through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, may this day be filled with your grace and peace. Amen. Morning Psalm Psalm 95 verses 1-7 to Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving, and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. Scripture Readings First Reading But the people grew impatient on the way. They spoke against God and against Moses, and said, why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? There is no bread, there is no water, and we detest this miserable food. Then the Lord sent venomous snakes among them. They bit the people and many Israelites died. The people came to Moses and said, We sinned when we spoke against the Lord and against you. Pray that the Lord will take the snakes away from us. So Moses prayed for the people. The Lord said to Moses, Make a snake and put it up on a pole. Anyone who is bitten can look at it and live. So Moses made a bronze snake and put it up on a pole. Then when anyone was bitten by a snake and looked at the bronze snake, they lived. The Word of the Lord Gospel Reading John 3 verses 13 to 17 No one has ever gone into heaven except the one who came from heaven, the Son of Man. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection On this Feast of the Triumph of the Holy Cross, we are reminded of the saving power of Christ's sacrifice. The readings today from Numbers in John 3 verses 13 to 17 lead us to reflect on the significance of the cross and God's infinite love for us. In Numbers, we hear the story of the Israelites in the desert, who, despite their liberation from Egypt, fall into despair and grumbling. As a consequence, they face a plague of venomous snakes. But in his mercy, God provides a remedy. Moses is instructed to make a bronze serpent, and anyone who looks at it will be healed. This story foreshadows the ultimate healing given to us through Christ, who is lifted up on the cross to bring eternal life to all who believe. In John's Gospel, Jesus speaks of his impending crucifixion, linking it to the serpent lifted up by Moses. Jesus reminds us that God's purpose in sending his Son was not to condemn but to save. The cross, once a symbol of suffering and death, becomes the ultimate sign of God's love and mercy. Through the cross, we are healed from the venom of sin, and through faith in Christ, we receive the gift of eternal life. As we reflect on the triumph of the Holy Cross, we are invited to look upon the cross not only as a symbol of Christ's sacrifice, but also as a source of grace, healing, and hope in our lives. The cross calls us to trust in God's love, even in the midst of our own trials and sufferings. 
Just as the Israelites were healed by gazing upon the bronze serpent, we too are healed and strengthened when we gaze upon the cross and unite our sufferings with Christ's. Today, let us rejoice in the victory of the cross and resolve to carry our crosses with love, knowing that through them, God brings new life and grace. Act of Consecration to Our Lady O Mary, my Queen and my Mother, I give myself entirely to you, and to show my devotion to you, I consecrate to you this day, my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my whole being without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am your own, keep me and guard me, as your property and possession. Amen. Acts of faith, hope, and charity. Act of faith. O oh my God, I firmly believe that you are one God in three divine persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I believe that your divine Son became man and died for our sins, and that he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe these and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches, because you have revealed them, who can neither deceive nor be deceived. Act of Hope O oh my God, relying on your almighty power, infinite mercy, and promises, I hope to obtain pardon for my sins, the help of your grace, and life everlasting, through the merits of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer. Act of Charity O oh my God, I love you above all things with my whole heart and soul, because you are all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of you. I forgive all who have injured me, and I ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Intercessory Prayers Lord, I lift up these prayers to you, trusting in your mercy and love as I pray. For the Church, that she may continue to proclaim the triumph of the cross with boldness and faith, leading all people to the saving power of Jesus, I pray to the Lord. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering, that they may find comfort in the cross of Christ, knowing that through their trials, they are united with Him, I pray to the Lord. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are struggling with sin or despair, that they may look to the cross for hope and healing, and find peace in God's mercy, I pray to the Lord. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the world and an end to all violence and division, that the cross may be a sign of reconciliation and unity for all people, I pray to the Lord. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal intentions, pause for a moment of silent prayer. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, assist me by your powerful intercession, and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ, our Lord, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. Amen. Prayer to my guardian angel, angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day, be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Act of thanksgiving. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time of prayer and for the grace to begin this day in your presence. I thank you for the cross, the source of my salvation, 
and for the love you have shown me through Jesus Christ. Help me to live this day in gratitude and faith, carrying my crosses with love and trusting in your plan for my life. Amen. Resolution for the day. Lord, today I resolve to embrace the crosses I encounter with love and patience, knowing that they bring me closer to you. Help me to offer my sufferings for the good of others and to live with a spirit of trust in your mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I conclude this time of prayer, I thank you for the grace and strength you have given me to begin this day with you. Help me to carry the peace and lessons of this prayer into all that I do. Strengthen me to bear my crosses joyfully, remembering that through them I am united to Christ. Guide me to live in faith, hope, and charity, showing your love to all whom I meet. Keep me close to your heart throughout this day, and may I always trust in your divine providence. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless and protect me today. May he guide my thoughts, words, and actions. And may I always seek to live in his love and peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.